Oh. Can't go as fast as you do, look. Boom. So what, what's, what's cracking today? Uh, we are going to go to Harbor Freight. I was, uh, I just recently got a uh, Rolly Flex, and I may already have that video up over there. But if I don't, well, I got a Rolly Flex. The leather strap that it came with, uh, it was a little worn. And I know, just given that they're so thin and little, and that the, the camera itself is a fucking brick, um, I didn't feel too safe using it. So it got me thinking. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and try and make my own strap. Right now, we're going to go to Harbor Freight and pick up some stuff. Hopefully, by the end of this video, I will have a camera strap. Ooh. Hello. How you doing, guys? Doing good. Whoa. Get right by ya. Ruler for sure. I don't know if I need that long of a ruler. Man, where's a regular ass ruler when you need one? Aluminum ruler. I mean, why is this one $279? Oh, I'm dumb. Simple as ruler. Two bucks. Okay, I need this. I need a leather punch. Uh, oh, oh, oh no. Hold on. Let me refer to my list. It reminded me of that little little puffer fish right there. Just <laughs> right on screen, right? <laughs> 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 All right, utility knife. You need that box of blades, like that exacto knife style, which I'll have to probably ask where the motherfucker's at. Uh, leather punch, metal ruler. Okay, that's all I think I need. Should I just do the basic 199, or should I get the? How many do you need? That's what, three, four dollars more? Yeah, but see, this one's got a grip, bro. You know, you got grip. So when you have like the. Or something like I mean when you're cutting leather you probably want better grip right yeah should I do black or blue definitely not red <sighs> red definitely not red uh, probably black black huh black a little loud looks sick you, though looks sick though all right nah I got this got this ah this but like the cheaper version of it this guy bomb all right, now I need leather punch. Shh, Morton, where you at? Where you at, Morton? Fuck. Leather punch. All right, so leather punch, utility knife, a little precision knife set, ruler. All right, let's get to it. So 21 bucks for everything? 21 bucks. Harbor Freight, shout out. So we're gonna end up going over to Goodwill. What I'm gonna try and look for is actual like good leather belts and the more broken in the better in my opinion. I'll probably just hit it with some saddle soap, clean it up and and then end up cutting them down. Just I want some broken in stuff just to make it easy, like more pliable, easier to work with. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna try and hit up the Goodwill up the street over here in hopes that I find something, so wish me luck. All right, so we're gonna try and find some used leather belts. We'll see if we are successful or not. What happened here? <laughs> what happened? How's that looking? Mm. Well, no, that's not too small, but you see this, look. You got the, the leather and then you got like this plasticky like material. So it's probably like a bonded leather. And usually this is a, a indicator that it's not good. What genuine leather? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so something like this actually might end up working. Like, you see how, like it looks like it's just one solid piece. I could be wrong, dude. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, here we are, here we are. Look at that. Oh. Nice and long. Bam. It's the same. It looks like it's literally the same kind of belt. Check it. 
This is a 58. Yeah, this is a 58, and that's a 40. This is in gold leathering. TBW Genuine Cowhide, made in the USA. There you go. So, this bad boy. Look at that, yo. Could probably make a couple straps. Yeah. So, I'm I'm down to, I mean, depending on the price, because for whatever reason, no price on these guys. We'll see how much they are. But let's keep looking. Three. Another one? Same kind. It looks like, what is this, like postal worker? It says, check it. Postal approved. What does that mean? Fucking free shipping or some shit? <laughs> I guess. Dude, I keep finding these. Like, like I think I'm just going to go for two of these 50s. Look at this. I found another one. Big fat ass 51. <laughs> uh -uh. It's your boy. It's your boy in like two weeks. I'll be that big. All right. So I found 150, 140, and then this is what? A, a 58? This is a big boy. Oh, here we are. 399 apparently. 399. That's all right. How much does the regular camera strap go for? Let's see if I can find another one of these because apparently there's tons of them in here. Or maybe if I could find a uh, good leather and wider, that'd be cool. But if not, then this should actually work perfectly fine. And then the rest of this stuff feels really cheap and plasticky. Like this is good, but. I'm trying to get the bang for the buck, so might as well try and look for the the longest ones they have here. That's a 38. Boom, what size is this bad boy? Oh, look at this. 54. Alright, so. I really do think this is like postal worker belt or some shit. Oh, Disney Resorts. So this is a Disney belt. Got a lot of big boys working at Disney. And then there should probably be enough leather here to maybe do... Four shorts? Well, maybe more than four straps for sure. And then even do some like wrist straps. So. Yeah, I'll take the three. Let's do the three. Four, eight, 12 bucks. Bitch, I'm a dog. Bam! Got the leather belt. As you can see, I've tried this more than once it's actually uh, a couple times what you do is get yourself a leather belt bam got that cutting board white out marker and what I'll be using this for is just to kind of mark things up just to kind of like give me a guide as to where to start where to finish I believe the thickness is about one millimeter so I'll be using that ruler the first time I did it, I must have really sunk it in there into the leather and doled out the blade. So the second time when I was trying this out, one, I was trying to cut into the wood and I realized that maybe that's not the way to go. I don't think that's, I think that if anything, that's probably what ended up screwing up the blade. So instead of doing that, I'll be using the actual cutting board. Um, I might end up using blue painters tape just to kind of like make sure everything is within range. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and mark these up here. Okay, so what I'll be doing is actually using one of the old straps because it's actually set to the length I actually want it. And I'll just be using that to mark the area and make sure it's the exact length. So I'll be using the, uh, the old strap and I'll be using the, the big whiteout. Mark the beginning, mark the end, and then I'll be using the ruler to mark one millimeter and I'll be just going along the belt. I'll be laying down little dots just to kind of give me a guiding line. And after I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and lay the painter's tape, lay that across just to kind of solidify that line, and then we'll cut. The second time I tried doing this, I just laid, I tried laying one whole strip across, 
I mean, I don't, I didn't even know why I thought that was going to be a good idea, but it wasn't. Um, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, this shit's nice and straight. It's nice and flush. It ended up being worse than the first time I tried doing this. Uh, I ended up laying down a couple of strips. And now what I'm going to end up doing is actually cutting it with the blade. But the problem I ran into, there goes the ruler, was that it just became super tough to kind of stay concise. And I ended up having to double back anyways. And it just started becoming a whole other clusterfuck of a mess. Looking back at it, I should have done Oh <laughs> uh, shit. I should have done this originally this way. I have the, the tape facing towards yourself. And then you're just cutting across the top. As opposed to the opposite of flipping this, having this back here, then having to cut this way. I feel like this one, at least for me, being left-handed, I'm not sure if y'all righties could do it the other way, but not your boy, boom, left hand. Got it detached. It looks like it's about as straight as I'm gonna get this thing, and it's actually pretty good. I'm not I'm I'm happy with this. Now let's move on to the next step. The next part is to do this little neck support thing or neck rest. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Um, but like the Rolly Flex one just comes with the strip and that shit starts to dig into your neck, especially as to how heavy it is. So it just becomes a pain in the ass, you know, to carry her around. This is actually from the first attempt I made. So I'll be laying this shit right here. Bam. Marking it out. Así perrito. Mira. Bam. So I'll be just kind of, I'm going to be using the, the actual width. So I'm not cutting any actual sides of it. I'm going to be using the, the full width of the belt. I'll just be marking it up with some, some white out marker over here and over here. But I'm going to mark this up and cut it up. A ver que pedo. And actually using the rounded edges or the rounded edge of the, of the old strap. So I use this side on both sides and I just kind of scratched it out and BAM uh, I'm gonna be honest yo I'm kind of okay with this this is actually pretty round yo look looks pretty flush on both ends oh shit it's blurry as dick there we go alright so using the old neck strap right here that I made as a guide what I'm going to be doing is punching four holes, boom, 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 four, and four on this side, and then hitting it with the flat blade in this little kit here, that blade to be exact. All right, so now I've punched the holes, and now what I'll be doing is using this little blade kit, and I'll be using this, got the flat blade on, so what I'll end up doing is just kind of, boom, measuring between the two right here. Try to get it right in the middle. And then just slam this thing into it. Bam. There you go. And bam. There you have it. Slid right through. All right. Shit. Third time's a charm, yo. So extra extra length on the ends in order to fold it in and be able to hit it with the with the punch and then stitch them up. Um, what I'll be doing now is hitting it with the leather punch, grabbing some wax nylon thread. But before I do that, oh, can't forget these bad boys. Gotta throw on. The alligator clip and yeah, no, two different colors oh well but um throw on those stitch it up so I got these in here Got the alligator clip facing the correct way. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, stitch it 
stitch it up from there. So I switched to a different angle. Hopefully this shows it a little better. Can you see that? Can you see that? All right. All right. So two needles and some wax nylon thread. Depending on the length of your stitch, you want at least five times the length. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. And <laughs> since I really didn't measure it, I'm just gonna go ahead and say more is better than not enough. All right, cut the nylon thread. I think normally you would probably want to do this with like a scissors, not a utility knife or exacto or whatever, but we're working with what we got, my guys. All right, so pinch the end of that nylon thread, have it nice and flat. It's kind of hard to tell, obviously, from where we're at, but what I'll do is thread it in. So once you pinch it flat, thread, thread it through the needle or through the eyelet, pull about an extra inch or so. And then you grab your needle and just poke through it. Bam. So see that? You just poke through it and then you just pull it down and then pull up. Now it's cinched. And do the same thing to the other end. So now you have two identical needles and that's what you're gonna use to create your stitch. The way to stitch this, and no, I don't have, oh, well, there goes the thread. Uh, no, I don't have any vise or anything to kind of hold this on, so I have to kind of eyeball it, but it's simple, especially since you're only doing, you know, I only did like a five, five punch. Nothing, nothing too serious where you can get lost in where you're at. So what you want to do is poke the needle through. So that's the first needle, you poke it through. The first and second holes. So what you end up, what you want to end up doing, check it. So you want to make sure that your thread is at least equal on both ends. Uh, since you're poking the, this needle through the second one, give yourself just the tiniest bit extra slack. So poke it through the second hole and the second hole that you punch through. Bam. All right. So now that you got that, what you want to do now is, again, make sure your thread is give or take the equal length. Um, the first, the, the needle that you punched through already, what you end up wanting to do is with the second needle, let's see if it's in focus, with that second needle, you want to punch through that second hole that you just came through with the other needle. Again, I'm sure there's way better instructions or instructional videos on this, but again, just doing it the ghetto way, my guys. The first needle went through the first and second holes and you just pull it through. Make sure it's nice and, and stiff. And then what you wanna do is continue the, the, same, the same pattern. Uh, that first needle that you thread it to, so the way I look at it is the first needle is gonna be doing the actual stitching. And then that second needle, what it ends up doing is just kinda following what that first needle did. So now that you put, pulled it through that second eyelet or that second hole, I mean, you grab the other needle and then just go through it. Shit, I, I'm, I must be doing bad instructions on this shit. 
So again, grab the first needle, poke it through, and then retrace your step with that second needle. And you just wanna follow this pattern until the end. What I end up doing after it's all complete is I end up just tying the ends. Uh, I don't really care about hiding the stitching or tucking it within the leather or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal for myself. It depends on what you wanna do, but I tie a knot within the, the top like this, and then I just melt the ends. This is up to you as to how neat and how flush you really want it to look. Personally, I like the little, the rough and rugged, you know, rough around the edges kind of look to it. So what I'll end up doing is just double knotting this bitch right on the outside. And then once you're done with the knot, then you burn them. And after that, you're pretty much done. Um, so I went ahead and took you through the steps on how to go ahead and find some leather, get the tools, and how to do this. It was actually a lot of fun, but at the end of the day, this <laughs> video is super long. And um, it's just one of those where I kind of wish I would have done it a little quicker, but uh, as you could tell, it took me about a month to go ahead and put this up. So if you like this, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and look forward to some new videos coming up soon, yo.